Okay, God woke me up last night. Uh, my name is Charm Trotter. And uh, for many years I've been having dreams about uh, things to come. I'm a Christian and I have been for, I don't know, 26, 27 years. Uh, forgive me for my voice. I have laryngitis or something. But he woke me up and he wanted me to do this. And so I said yes because... I try to be obedient most of the time. I was watching a video the other day, and it said that obedience is not obedient unless it's immediate. So I believe that um, in order to be obedient to God, we need to not argue with Him, just immediately do what He asks us to do. Um, time is short, people. Last year, at the beginning of the year, I asked God, I said, what do you want me to do for your kingdom this year? And he said, prepare my people for I'm coming soon. And uh, so I really thought he was coming last year. But he didn't come. And I believe it's because... There are so many people out there that are still not saved because God doesn't want anyone to perish or anyone to be left behind. He wants all to go to heaven, but unless people accept Jesus as their Savior, then um, there's no path for them to heaven. You have to come through Jesus because we're not holy enough like God. And uh, we're not a redeemer. We can't redeem ourselves. So we have to have a redeemer. We have to have a savior. And that's Jesus Christ. He laid down his life um, for us. Sacrificially. The last blood sacrifice. And so being good just doesn't cut it. And time is running out. And uh, I don't know how often I'm going to do this. Um, I hope my voice is stronger next time. But I do know that um, my blessings come from being obedient to what God wants me to do. And He really impressed it on me this morning, sometime early in the morning, that He wanted me to do this. I'm going to try to get this uploaded to either Facebook or uh, YouTube tomorrow, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do it tonight because I'm going to have to go to bed soon, but in the future I want to share with you some of the dreams that God has sent me. He sent me numerous rapture dreams. He sent me dreams about the Antichrist, he sent me dreams about um, things that will happen right after the rapture, um, he sent me one of the most impressive things that I saw, I'm not sure whether it was a dream or not, but he sent me an image of these huge arms reaching out. And to me, what that says is that he is calling all of his children into a, into a relationship with him before Jesus comes back. He wants everyone to get saved. Don't stay on the fence. Don't keep doing what you're doing. Don't live in your sin. Repent of your sin and ask Jesus into your heart. And uh, you'll live eternally with him. Otherwise, you're going to live eternally with the devil in damnation. And yes, there is a hell, and it's very hot. If you don't believe me, go and listen to 23 Minutes in Hell. Or read the book 23 Minutes in Hell. And it's, it's mentioned several times in the Bible. 
Google it. Google hell. It's a real place. It's hot. It is um, nonstop torment. That's not where that's not where God wanted people to end up. He wants them to end up in heaven with Him, because Jesus is going to come and He's going to create a new heaven on earth in Jerusalem. And so that's where that's going to be our final destination, is in Israel. And so, whether you want to believe me or not, I really. I'm 57. I really don't care at this point. I'm a mother of two and a grandmother of three. And I feel very blessed. And I have more more stuff here in my house that is worthless. means something to me. But I know that when the rapture happens, all of this will be for people who want to occupy our homes, whatever they plan to do. Um, because I'm not taking any of it with me. No money, no nothing, no clothes, no jewelry, no nothing. Nothing will go with me. And I will have a glorified body. I'll live with Jesus forever. Very blessed that my husband's saved and my daughter's saved and her husband's saved and got to witness my six-year-old granddaughter get baptized today. That was a huge blessing. And I uh, really don't know what else to say except that I feel very much an urgency to get this message out to whoever will listen. And uh, I do lyric videos, so I'm going to try to upload this with my lyric videos. So hopefully I'll have a few followers at the beginning. But um, in my obedience to God, I'm going to do this. I'm going to prepare people. And they may think I'm crazy and I don't really care. Like I said, I'm 57. I don't really care anymore. I'm not going to be here for much longer. None of us are that are Christians, that are saved. And so it's not going to matter. But what will matter is if we don't try to share the good news of Jesus, that Jesus died for everyone. He just didn't die for us. He died for everyone. He died for the whole world, the entire world. He died for them. So that they could receive redemption. And so that they could live in glory. And not live in oppression or bondage. That's all Satan has to offer is oppression, bondage, hate, distress. <clears throat> Nothing good. Nothing good comes from Satan. And so just remember that Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he died for you. If I had my Bible handy, I would um, read, For God so loved the world. But, oh, I don't see it. Where's my not a fan? Daily devotional. By Kyle Adelman. Let me see if maybe scriptures in here. Oh, I'm halfway through this. I need to get started back on it. It's really a good book. I do highly recommend it. Um, well, I'll just uh, I'll have it memorized. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish, but shall have eternal life. John 3.16 And I might have paraphrased it a little bit, but I memorized it in King James. And uh, there's so many different versions out there right now. 
Um, I might pause this for a minute. I'm gonna go see if I can 